South Africa's economic crisis has forced a group of people in Butterworth in the Eastern Cape to take to the streets. This group, together with the DA, marched to the Provincial Department of Social Development to plead for help as the cost of living continues to rise. Our reporter, Ronald Masinde, was there and is joining us now to tell us exactly how this march uh, played out today. Good afternoon, Ronald. Thank you for your time on today, this afternoon. So what have some families in the Eastern Cape told you about their struggles due to this high cost of living crisis? Good afternoon, Brad and But uh, just before I answer your question, I just want to just tell the viewers more about today's march. Now, the Democratic Alliance has uh, noted with uh, serious concern the uh, issue of uh, parents uh, killing not only themselves but also uh, their loved ones. And this has happened on the two occasions in recent time. Uh, the recent one was in Lusikisiki, where a parent uh, killed three of her children, uh, as well as an incident that took place in Butterworth. And uh, these incidents, uh, we have been told, are related to the issue of hunger in the province. People are especially living in dire poverty. Now, just to go back to the question, uh, it is a family that we spoke to of Makule Yanki. He is a a parent who lives with a five with children and a wife uh, at an informal settlement in Butterworth. Now, the concerns for this particular family is that they just don't know where they'll get their next meal from. Everyone in the family does not have an ID, so it makes it very difficult for them to apply for social grants and other benefits that come with the government. But also, on top of that, uh, their only source of income is selling wood. And uh, the family was telling me earlier on that uh, the biggest concern is that uh, there's no end in sight to their problems. They've been living in an informal settlement for the past 40 years, and they don't see any different from the life that they lived uh, in the past and under the democratic South Africa. Uh, the parent, uh, Yanki, was only uh, working uh, the last time, and uh, that was back in 1983 in the mines, and since then, no one in the family is employed. So uh, they say that uh, they are urging a government to at least uh, try and assist them in trying to lower the cost of living because uh, they cannot even afford a meal per day. I mean, uh, they survive on a stave pub daily and uh, this for them is just not normal okay so the democratic alliance are joining this march today and i understand it was the day after the premier of of the province unveiled plans to improve the lives of the poor and the unemployed Yes, indeed. And uh, big talk from the Premier uh, yesterday uh, talking about a special team that also consists of uh, heads of department to help accelerate not only economic growth, but also to help those who are in dire need of jobs. Uh, as the Democratic Alliance uh, said earlier today, that uh, this is the worst affected province in terms of unemployment, and it is still by far the most uh, uh, you know poorest province in the country so they say that now is high time because uh, according to them the ANC has also not uh, provided for the 26 uh, food gardens uh, that they used to and this is cause for concern in terms of food security and not only that around the country there's at least 41 a percent of families who cannot afford to put food on the table. We spoke to the Democratic Alliance earlier. We were hoping to hand in a memorandum of grievances to the Department for Social Development. But the leader of the Democratic Alliance here in the Eastern Cape, Andrew Whitfield, says that the department was a no-show. Sadly, the Deputy Director of the Department refused to come and accept a memorandum after previously agreeing to do so. So we're now going to take that memorandum to Bishu directly to the MEC for Social Development and to the Premier. There are a number of interventions and proposals that we've made around uh, the, the cost of living, sp specifically around VAT and, and zero-rated goods and making sure that we can identify products that the poorest South Africans need to survive and to bring the cost of those food prices down. We've also highlighted the, the cost of fuel, which drives up obviously inflation and the cost of living for ordinary South Africans. There was uh, Ronald Masinda the, uh, in the Eastern Cape.